Welcome. Today I'm showing you the supply chain hub functionality, which makes navigation through the supply chain related Oracle modules a lot easier. So when you open the supply chain hub, you first have a screen where you can search for inventory items. For example, all items that have a specific planning exception. In this case, let me search for past due orders. And then when you search, you have here the search results and you can expand or collapse bill of material levels. Let's say we want three bill of material levels. And from here you can uh, navigate out to the Oracle standard screens. So on every item you can right click and then you can navigate to specific Oracle forms. For example, you could navigate to the bill of material for this item or you could navigate to the on hand quantity and so on. So that is one of the ideas that you can quickly search for items and then you can quickly navigate to the Oracle screens. The other functionality on the screen is that you can run reports for specific items. So you could, for example, highlight items and also you can multi-select using the keyboard, uh, the control key and the shift key on the keyboard. And then you can run reports, for example, Popular report is the horizontal plan for advanced supply chain planning because in Oracle standard, it's not so easy to get that information out. So you can start running a blitz report from here and then once it's completed, it opens and here's the output file. So let's see, on the first sheet, we have the detailed data. On the second sheet, we have then the horizontal plan data. And you could, for example, look at, let me look at the projected available balance as an example. And then you have for these items that you have selected, you have all the data here on the right hand side in the different buckets. So that is the other functionality that you can link blitz reports here and start them for the items that are selected. And you can also filter in this view. So for example, if you have, if you're only interested in the manufactured parts of your bill of materials, you can filter on the left hand side here for the make parts or similar you can also look for all the purchase parts like this or apply other filter criteria. And then you can also look at the supply and demand of individual items. So you could, for example, look at the supply and demand of this monitor here, and then you see the supply demand, the different, uh, in this case, for example, we have on hand 9,782 right now, and then we have purchase order coming in for 200. And then here see the projected available balance for all these incoming or outgoing supply and demands. And you can also then click on these hyperlinks and navigate out to, for example, the manufacturing job that consumes this item. And we have also enhanced this, uh, the required operations uh, screen here from Oracle a little bit so that you have everything on one screen. Here, for example, we see straight away that this manufacturing job consumes 1,283 monitors. And on the first tab here, you see then the different uh, operation steps. And you see also straight away without having to click through additional tabs, uh, how many items we currently have in queue and running and so on. Yeah, so that is the main functionality. You can also, uh, one more thing, you can also apply plant recommendations or you can release the plant recommendations from here so you can highlight certain rows and then in this case for example we have the recommended action to reschedule this, these purchase orders out and you could click on release plant orders and then you could reschedule these out to the recommended date so you could click on release and then everything will refresh and the dates are changed and if you had plants orders i think here we don't have a plant order you could also release them from here so let me look for something that has a plant order. Okay, so for example, this hard drive. So let's see, here we should have some plant orders. Okay, so we have some plant orders in between here. So you could, for example, if you want to release these plant orders, you could do it in a similar way from here. Yeah, that's the quick overview. If you would like to see more, please contact us and we can organize a personalized demo. Thank you.